Hi, everybody. I'm here with Jenny Marshall. She's a candidate in North Carolina's 5th Congressional District. She was on We the People November 1st of 2017. And the primary in North Carolina is May 8th. It's coming up next week. And so we wanted to check back in with Jenny and find out what's going on. Hey, Jenny, how you doing? Just fine. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you for joining us and uh, uh, let us know what's going on in the campaign. It's been it's been many months, and uh, I know there's been a lot of a lot of updates and stuff. So tell us, how's it been? Absolutely. Well, we have been running this grassroots campaign uh, ever since we we launched back in 2016. But since November, we have made over 60,000 phone calls to the people wow. of the fifth district. Um, that is actually more phone calls than Hillary Clinton made to the people of the 5th District during her general election run against Donald Trump. So we are really doing the work to get our message out there. We've sent over 19,000 text messages and knocked over 5,000 doors. And we have been spending every day at the polls uh, since April 19th when early voting started wow. to reach out to voters who may may not have their um, opinions set just just yet and uh having me there talking to them and having our workers there talking to them at the other polling locations uh, gives them a, a reason to vote for our campaign that's that's incredible i mean those those are some incredible statistics for a grassroots campaign mm -hmm. that's that's amazing how how much money have you raised so far what's the average donation well, our average donation is right around $31, wow. and we have we have managed to raise $136,000. That's phenomenal uh, for a progressive. Yes. That's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's all small dollar donors. We have not taken any PAC money, and we have actually refused to take any corporate PAC money or corporate lobbyist money. So from the very beginning, we knew that this was going to be a grassroots campaign. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, and uh, I wanted to show everybody uh, uh, the last time we had you on in November, you uh, yeah. these were the endorsements that were listed on your website here. And uh, there's our revolution in their local chapter. And I just want to show everybody she's picked up a few since then. Yeah. Got Justice Democrats in there. You've got uh, a brand new Congress and People for Bernie and Da. Mm -hmm. And and it's it you did, couldn't even fit them all on one page. We got two mm -hmm. pages here. Uh, t this is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And uh, these endorsements really show that our work that we have been doing and our platform really resonates uh, across this country and across the state and across the district. So we have been fortunate to be the recipient of these endorsements like Equality North Carolina, which is an LGBTQ group, Trans Carolina, which is transgender uh, citizens in North Carolina and South Carolina. And it's actually the, the oldest transgender group, activist group uh, in the nation. Uh, we've been blessed to get the AFL-CIO labor endorsement because of our stance and our um, particular strength with unionization and supporting unions. I'm a union member myself, and that's not an easy thing to say in North Carolina. <laughs> right, right, yeah, really. Have, have, has your campaign staff talked to you about unionizing? Because, you know, like, we've got several progressive groups that have done that. It's kind of cool. Well, we're we're considering that right now. We are basically my husband and uh, two full time staff people. Wow. Uh, my That's husband's paid staff as well, but um, we have a very little, tiny crew. Uh, most of it's volunteer driven because people believe in our campaign. Right. Um, I'm down right. here in the office right now, and we have a volunteer working on data entry right now. And Brian's back from the field and jeff's over there working data so uh we could unionize awesome. but it'd be like a union of two <laughs> <laughs> that's i mean that's just amazing when you when you talk about how much you go back to the statistics you mentioned at the beginning and what you've accomplished with a, with a small group of people a core, yeah. core group and the volunteers that's incredible talk about mm -hmm. what you need then the most right what well what uh, right now what we need the most is is actually money um because it this primary has has really cost us a lot of money uh making sure that we have the resources to do digital advertising um to hand out flyers and we know that those are just going in the trash so we're printing thousands and thousands of flyers through a local printer and all of that costs money, having to buy yard signs that we'll never get back. Um, 
and wow. that are probably going to go in the trash because the road crews pick them up, people steal them. Uh, so it's it's just one of those things. Running a primary is really expensive, and those those things don't transfer over to the general election in November right. um, as easily as you know staff does or right. um, some of the equipment that we've bought, purchased. Right. Um, but running in a primary is really expensive, so we would appreciate if you support a progressive running for Congress, uh, donate. Donate to our campaign. Help us kind of fund through this primary and on to the general election uh, because Virginia Fox has $2.5 million or $2.8 million in the bank. Wow. So we really need to get the grassroots going. Yeah, and Virginia Fox is a, a Republican, apparently former educator who writes really bad education bills. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, yeah. Most of her education bills are like anti-education bills, and that's, that's it's nice. it's really just terrible. I mean, her new Prosper Act is is all about uh, you know taking the affordability out of higher education, and yeah, it's it's just terrible. It's just terrible having students starting to accrue interest on student loans the minute the ink dries on their loan paperwork is just not the the affordability that we need in in our public institutions right now i'm 48 i still have student loans i'm trying to pay off so I, i'm right yeah, there absolutely we, we don't need absolutely. any more debt you know we don't uh, i want to go back to the the money though because i, I want everybody to understand it, it it may sound a little strange You've raised a decent amount of money for a progressive candidate in the yeah. race. But what I right. heard you say that I want to tie together here is that you're spending a lot of that on campaign supplies for groundwork. You know, and oh, yeah. if you're running digital ads, too, that you have to be able to do that to compete at all. Mm. Um, but the fact I, and don't take this the wrong way, but the fact that you're having to replace signs and that you're running out of those supplies is good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited well, for that. It, it's one of those things that we have our uh, NGP database where we send our emails out and where we communicate to the community about what we're out and about and doing. Uh, it costs us about $20,000 a year. So right wow. off the top. Wow. That's, is, now, is that for access to the expensive. database? Is that, is that what you're saying? That is, okay, so that is that is to maintain our own database oh, of wow. names and numbers and um, to, to make sure that we're uh, compliant with the FEC, the Federal Elections Commission, with wow. our with the money that we brought in and the, the things that we're paying out. So all of that is in one, um, one system called NGP. Um, NGP also is the creator of VAN, the right. Voter Access Network. We also had to pay for that last year, and that was $5,000. That's what I was going to ask. So, Are, you know, In terms of support or resistance from the Democratic Party proper, you know, mm -hmm. you're not getting, they didn't give you access to VAN. You had to pay no. for that, right? And now you're yeah. building your own database, which I think is brilliant. Um, absolutely, we, the progressive movement needs its own database. We don't need to rely on VAN, and a lot of that VAN information is outdated anyway. Um, yeah. So yeah. That, that's fantastic. But you're not, DCCC didn't come by and say, you're the front runner, we like you, um, no. work with us. No. Hmm. No, they have, I, I reached out to them very early on just to see what kind of uh, research they had done on Virginia Fox. And they said, really, they have, were not paying attention to North Carolina's oh, fifth. Nice. And they have not reached back out. So uh, contrary to what some people might believe, the DCCC is not interfering in this race yet. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we've, uh, we've squeaked by. Now, there are other races in North Carolina they have been interfering with, uh, North Carolina's 13th and the 9th. Oh, really? They have some oh. candidates over there. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've been able to, to kind of do what we do and not have their interference, not have the DNC interfere into it. Uh, but what it has done is we have to build all of this our own. Yeah, absolutely. Nobody's handing us a, a group of voters and saying, here are your people, go for it. No. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> we spent... Uh, I think we I think we drove 300 hour, or 300 miles on this past Sunday 
putting out signs across the district. Our district is 3,200 square miles. Holy cow. So we need to get out signs at all the polling locations. Uh, there's no way that we could staff 263 precincts uh, for voting. So we're going to have to make sure that we have at least signs at the polling locations. So we're spending a lot of money on gas and a lot of time. That's what it takes. And it's, yeah, it is what it is. But when, when we're talking about voters and their vote is important and their vote is valuable, it's worth it. Um, we just need to have people come through and help us to do that work and to to make each vote count and uh, really get out the vote for a progressive here in North Carolina. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, Jenny Marshall, for running. It is the hardest thing to do, as I am learning, and I appreciate you running. Um, yeah. And good luck to you on May 8th. Let's get out the vote, everybody. Go to um, let me pull up. The, I have the slide right here. Let me pull up the slide. Marshallforhouse.org is where you can go to uh, mm -hmm. learn more about Jenny, but marshallforhouse.org forward slash donate is where you can go to help Jenny the most right now because their ground game is huge yes. and they need the support. It really has come down to, I mean, you are the front runner in the Democratic side of things. It's really going after the incumbent at this point. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, and where are the polls? Do you have any idea where the polling sits right now? Well, interestingly enough, nobody is bothering to do polls with uh, with our race. Wow. But what, what we can tell everyone is that in 2016, we had a redistricting. Interesting. And that pushed about 24, 25,000 Democrat voters into our district and only 500 Republicans. So we are within three and a half percent of wow. the Republicans. So that means we only have three and a half percent more Republicans than Democrats. Yeah. So in order to win this November, we need to get out the unaffiliated voters. Uh, and that's what we've been doing. There you go. Yeah. And and what is that? Do you have any idea what that percentage is in, in your district or in North Carolina? It's pretty high, right? Nationally. Uh, yeah, we get about a third. Right. A there third. you go. I mean, yeah. that wins right there. That wins. Oh, yeah. We have enough unaffiliated voters to win. Uh, this race this time and it's really getting out and talking to those people giving them a viable option and a champion that they can believe in but all of that again is going to take money uh, we've looked at this and we know that we don't have to raise two million dollars like Virginia Fox does right uh, that she currently has in her bank account but we do need to raise a significant amount of money about eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars to a million uh, we've raised 136000 so far, but if everybody watching this was would to just give a dollar or give $5 a month, reoccurring donation, that helps tremendously. There you go. I hate to say it, everybody. We don't like having to fund our progressives because we want to take the money out of politics, but we can't get mm -hmm. the money out till we put it in. <laughs> it's it's yep. unfortunate. We have to get our, our progressives to win. Jenny Marshall, thank you so much, and we will check in with you after May 8th. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, everybody.